Hello there. Um, well, I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the UK. And after that scare I got about having to shut down and I've received such informative and valuable information from my subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. I appreciate your encouraging words. I appreciate your motivation. I appreciate everything. And it is so um, warming to hear your point of view and what you've thought about my videos. Anyway, what it did was it motivated me to hold fire on, you know, just not necessarily giving up, but just basically um, looking for other options. And that's basically inspired by so many people. I decided what I would do is um, look for alternatives. And so if they do decide at the end of it that I am not commercially viable, there is another option. Um, so yeah, so you don't have to think I'm going to disappear off of the screens completely. That wasn't my intention and I'm sorry I gave you that impression. But to be honest, I didn't even know there were so many options. So maybe I did think at the time YouTube was the only platform. Um, I've since, since found out there are many platforms which I want to share with you and also other YouTubes who may be in my situation. Um, from what I hear from subscribers, there are a number of um, YouTube YouTubers who have who are in the same situation as I am. Some have already been banned, but you know I think it really depends on their content. I think my content is pretty mild comparing to some and I do try to be careful so hopefully um, they won't feel threatened by my content and they'll keep me on even if I don't make them any money so we'll have to see how that works but in the meantime um, some options um, what do they say um, it ain't over until the voluptuous lady sings so um, I've taken this from um, twit2 um, it's a website that's offered alternatives and once again I'll put the links actually I did a video and I didn't put the links anyway sorry to get distracted I'm have to do that though um, okay so yeah like it says when um, you think about viewing online the first thing you think about YouTube you don't think about anything else I mean I've listened to a lot of YouTubers um, promote Patreon but you know to be honest who's got money to be paying out I'm, I shouldn't put people down I know people do there are people who have money but you know I think it can deter those people who really need the service so yes there is Patreon but I'm not really promoting I'm going to go through um the ones that I have got. Um, okay. So the, the major, majority of us know about Patreon, um, the IG account, which is um, Instagram. There's one called Black Junction, I learned from one of my subscribers. Big Shoot is another, um, and Ebaum's World. Never, ever heard of them. Um, but I'm going to um, put the link down below. So TwitGoo, and I'm going to go through the pros and cons of each one. So this might be a little long, so you might want to put it on pause. Go and get yourself a nice cup of tea, glass of wine, lager and lime or gin and tonic. Put your feet up and let it play. That's if you're interested in other YouTube platforms and the pros and cons of them. What am I talking about YouTube platforms? Other um, platforms like this then an alternative to YouTube um, because quite a few people are going to have to look for alternatives so yeah so what have we got here we've got daily motion which I'm thinking about if I if I come off of YouTube so they've got daily motion and if it's not YouTube then it's definitely daily motion um, Twitgu says it features apparently nearly the same layout and provides the same video categories as its video streaming and uploading rival users will get accustomed to using daily motion immediately I like things that simple straightforward so that is an option 
Unfortunately, though, the HD quality uploads are limited to pro users and there is a four gigabyte video limit. This means that videos uploads of around 60 minutes will be acceptable. Acceptable. Well, 60 minutes, that's more than enough. You know, some of these videos are gone for three hours. I think mine are long, but bloody hell. Um, this can actually be bad for those that want to upload comprehensive videos for educational purposes. And with this limitation, they might revert back to YouTube. Well, I'm not doing any comprehensive videos. I think mine are comprehensive enough when they go on for like 30 minutes or thereabouts. Don't like to go, go on too long. I think 30, 33, 35 is the most I've done. Yeah, I think so. Um, the pros are has less harsh rules than YouTube on removing videos, but that can also be detrimental and uploaders might be free to upload whatever content they want. Features the same layout so you will get used to it right away. Professional quality videos at your viewing disposal. Same list of video categories to make it easier for you to navigate around. So that sounds like a good one. The cons High definition uploads will only be available for pro users. I guess you'll have to pay if you want the high definition. It's not popular in the US, even though it has accumulated quite a reach in Europe. Video resolution limit is capped at 1080p. And then the second one we have is Vimeo. Vimeo's platform encourages classy filmmakers to show off their work. And the best part is that when you're viewing a video, there are less distracting elements in the background to divert your attention away from the juicy bits of the clip. Mm, juicy bits. Pros. And focus, you'll focus more on the video the user is streaming and provides less distracting elements in the background. I guess they mean... I don't know, maybe they mean adverts or something. A place for creative content, creators to showcase their work to others. Funny thing is, is that as a as an uploader, a video uploader, I don't really get to see all the distractions, do I? I mean, sometimes when I review my video, but I usually review it before, before I upload it, so I don't usually review it again. So I don't see um, the distractions that they're talking about, but I can only assume it must be adverts and stuff. Um, the cons website has a limit of 500 megabyte a week so only when uploading videos and this is for each user video limit can be upgraded but that is only capped at 5 gigabyte and will require a monthly fee so that's I don't know how much I use so I'm sure I use more than 5 gigabyte though so that wouldn't be any good. So that's Vimeo. I guess, I guess if you do short videos, that's fine. Vio, V-E-O-H. Vio is yet another great alternative to YouTube. And aside from providing a clean interface for potential, for potentially millions of users, there are a lot of perks involved here. You can upload any video of any length, meaning a no holds barred situation for content creators here. The pros, clean user interface with a lot of social features present, so you are able to engage with your friends and interact with groups and forum. Videos of any length can be uploaded and instantly shared. The cons, search capability is less than ple a pleasing experience. That doesn't sound good. Meaning other users might revert to finding all other alternatives. I wonder what, I guess if you're looking for a particular video, it's not that easy to find. So that's Vio. DTube. DTube is based on a blockchain and the good news is that it is completely decentralized platform that serves as an excellent alternative for YouTube and the interface is somewhat similar as well. One of the best parts about this website is that DTube is completely without ads and it uses Steam blockchain to keep the records and users. Do to keep the records. It uses Steam blockchain to keep the records. And users do not have to pay anything to start using the streaming service. Another great thing here is that if you upload videos on the platform, you will be rewarded with a Steam cryptocurrency for seven days. And in addition to that, leaving comments on videos will also give you the chance to win. This is certainly a clever way of attracting people. So it looks like it's a kind of, um, 
not gambling, but it's almost like gambling, isn't it? I mean, I don't know what you're supposed to do with this steam crypto currency that you're supposed to spend within seven days. I'm not even sure where you'd spend it, but I might appeal to some people. However, since it is, it is a relatively new platform, the video repository is on the lower side and you might not find a lot of videos on the platform. It is still growing and definitely has the potential to become one of the best alternatives to YouTube. I mean, with anything new, it's going to take a while. I mean, when I started, it took me ages. I mean, I've been doing this for what? Maybe two years? And like I've said in past videos, I, I was happy when I had 10 subscribers. And so it kind of, it's, it gradually grows. So when you have these new alternatives, we have to, you know, we can't just knock them just because they've only got a few videos. We have to kind of stick with them if we think they've got potential and they offer what you need. Um, pros, complete, completely ad free. So there's no ads. If you don't like ads, it's brilliant. It's based on a blockchain. Users get cryptocurrency rewards for uploading videos and leaving remarks. A familiar interface, no video playlist, but there is a watch and see history playlist. The cons, there's not enough videos for you to watch. You can't make the videos private or unlisted, which I prefer to do, to be honest, because sometimes I want to look at videos later. I don't want the world and our uncle to know all the videos I've put to watch later you know what I mean to me that's my business so that's kind of off-putting but it's not a biggie um, you can't delete videos now this would be a, a biggie for me you can't delete videos it remains forever in the blockchain because sometimes you know I've made a video and I felt quite happy with it and then somebody has mentioned something to me and not because I think okay it's not what I want to say but maybe I could have said it a bit better you know, because sometimes when we're doing this, we're doing this live, we're doing it as we feel it. And sometimes you don't always, you're not always politically correct. And while I don't try always to be politically correct, I do try not to offend people. And I do want my um, videos to be welcoming. So if I put, if somebody points out something to me that I think is, that I've really totally missed, then I would want to delete it. But with this one, you can't delete it. So that's not, for me, I, that, that would turn me off, to be honest. Well, either that or I'm going to have to review it two or three times and get other people to review it. Because every time you do a video, you, it's not, you don't always see what other people see. And what's coming from you is usually coming, like when I do videos, it's coming from my own experience. So, you know, I might not be thinking about somebody else's experience and then I might say something insensitive and I, and I wouldn't want to do that. So I would want to take it down. But anyway, that was, what was that one? That was, what was that one? Was that DTube? Yeah, that was DTube. Too close to YouTube, so I'll remember that one. IGTV, Instagram's own streaming platform called IGTV. It offers vertical videos and are pretty long in length. These videos were specifically created to be watched on smartphones. As of right now, you can only use the app to watch the videos. However, you can upload your own through the desktop. If you've already have an Instagram account, the IGTV can be accessed right away and is free of cost. Users can simply go ahead and follow different channels that they prefer, or they can even browse through the feed that will show you all the content that is going to be based on your preferences. For content creators, IGTV is really great, and you can show your content to a larger audience since you do not have to punch in a URL. Search the video you want to watch and then watch it. IGTV is certainly going places. So... The pros, great for watching videos on smartphones, readily available to every Instagram user, great for making short or longer videos. The cons, you cannot upload videos from the app. That's the same, I wouldn't even think about uploading a video from an app. The vertical aspect ratio is not for everyone, so some people want to see a wide landscape and it only shows you the shape of the phone. 
which would suit me because you're only seeing my face, aren't you? I don't do anything fancy. I can't do anything fancy. I've got to learn to do some of these fancy things. I mean, I've seen some of these videos and the front facing and everything. And I think, how the hell do they do that? But I guess if I wasn't working full time, you know, and if I didn't have these other things that I do, I guess I would devote more time to, you know, making my videos a bit more professional looking. So, yeah, I'm quite happy, though that people have stuck with me, even though my channel isn't sophisticated. So thank you for that. Um, okay, the Open Video Project. The Open Video Project serves as a repository of digitised videos and contains so many documentaries, educational, as well as a history-related videos, as well as history-related videos. Users are given a chance to select from the content by simply using filters, specific time, as well as sound and format. Most of the videos on this platform have been given by the government agencies of the United States. So that's probably academic stuff. The Open Videos project is not a direct replacement of YouTube, as both platforms are serving the user bases that are drastically different from one another. So I wouldn't use that. But it's great for educational videos, completely free, huge repository of videos. And the comments, not a direct replacement of YouTube, and the interface is quite dated. So that's not on my list. PeerTube, P-E-E-R Tube, as in peer-to-peer. -peer. Anyone can go ahead and host the videos they want. The entire interface is simply and neatly done. There are no ads and you can even look at the trending as well as since recently added section to find the videos that you think are best. One of the greatest strengths of this platform is that there are no worries about being censored or banned because of the content. That does not match their communities because on Peertube, you have the freedom to upload whatever you want. Now, the important thing that you need to know here is that Peertube is relatively new. And at the time of writing, there were not a lot of videos available to watch. Still, it looks like it is going to make waves in the streaming market and bring out some of the best features that people have been waiting for for a long time. So this looks like it's the place to go. But you know what? They allow you. They might do like YouTube did, allow you to upload whatever you want. And then down the line, you can't. You're restricted. Some people do that. They get in all the subscribers. They get in all the um, video creators. And then after they change, they change the rules halfway. Anyway, the pros, absolutely no censoring, peer-to-peer, -peer. users can host their own videos, no ads, completely free. Cons, it's got a long way to go because it's relatively new. Patreon, I didn't write much about that. Patreon is a platform that enables patrons to pay and support artists for their work. Patreon is a way to earn money on what might otherwise be free content and allows fans to contribute to their favourite channels. Black Junction. Black Junction is a social media platform created to be a place for black cultures to meet and discuss issues. BitChute, BitChute, B-I-T-C-H-U-T-E, a video hosting service created to avoid censorship rules enforced by other platforms. This one looks quite interesting. It, but the only thing is, it doesn't save your video when you stop, unlike YouTube, because with YouTube, I upload my video, say, for example, and I don't I'm not ready to publish it yet. I can go and do anything else. I can even leave it for a day, two days, three days, four days and decide to upload it. And but this this option or this um, hosting service, it doesn't save your videos when you stop, unlike YouTube. So that means you'd have to do it again. Mind you, you have already have it on your hard drive. So I guess it just means having the time to upload it. So it takes very long to upload. That's another pain in the butt. No way to monetize. And yeah, and that's it with BitChute. Doesn't sound like it's one that I'd go for. Um, no, no, I don't think I'd go for that. VemTube. Um, it's, well, no, they've got one called 153news.net. It's good for those who want to speak their truth, minimal censoring and no monetization. That sounds quite good, but the word news makes me feel a bit restricted. Real video. I like the sound of this. This isn't even released yet. It will censor leftist or Marxist content. It's not a free for all system. 
sorry, only channels that are aligned with human core values, individual liberty, human dignity, freedom of speech, and the right to share human knowledge will be accepted. This sounds like my kind of channel. Real video. It really sounds like my kind of channel. I think out of all of them, if it's not daily motion, it might be real video, even though it's not out yet, but maybe by the time you know things go tits up if they do it might be out by then and um, final words your youtube has been brilliant experience but having to worry about what you say and how you say it inhibits spontaneity but if you're searching desperately for an alternative video streaming sites as a youtube alternative i hope that above suggestions prove useful Wow, that was a long one. 20 minutes and 40 seconds and I'll stop there. Bye bye.